My biggest concern, investments on AI to make machines smarter. There's no limit to the amount of money that's been pumped into it. The investment in HI to make humans smarter, human intelligence, <clears throat> that's just sad. It's sad that we're going to live in a world right around the corner where machines will be more articulate, analytical, critical thinking, banter ability, um, contextual, deep understanding, while we have resorted to short tweets, emojis, memes, and stickers to communicate. Hello. I find this clip really fascinating. And when I saw it online, the comments uh, were particularly interesting. I mean, maybe interesting is not the right word. The comments were wild because people focused on the fact that he is an artist and he has nothing to do with AI and shouldn't be talking about AI. And many of the comments really portray a lot of ignorance about AI and about the world in which we are living in today. There is nothing wrong that Will said here. Everything he said here is on point. But people seem to think that he should not say it simply because he is not a tech expert. He is he's he's just an artist as they as some people perceive him to be. So but I believe he is much more than an artist. I mean I know he is much more than an artist. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that um, he should have no opinion about artificial intelligence at all. Here's a comment that really got my attention and the person said, Bro can't write one line of code but can speak on AI. He did it with a laughing emoji. Oh my god, I just can't believe some people. I just can't believe how some people think and how they see the world. I mean, is AI only for people who can write line of code? Is AI impacting on the people who can write line of code? This thing is affecting all of us. I believe each and every one of us should have an opinion on this. I really love everything that Will I am had to say, you know, about AI. He's so on point. I don't see anything wrong he said here. The fact that he is an artist does not disqualify him from having an opinion about AI. AI is going to affect everyone, whether you are an artist, whether you are a tech expert, uh, whether you are just an everyday person. In my opinion, that era where only people who were uh, tech experts were allowed to talk about technology, I believe that era is over because we are all affected and in, or impacted by artificial intelligence in one way or another. So this short clip went viral online and so many people feel that uh, Will I Am shouldn't have any thoughts or any opinion on artificial intelligence uh, simply because he's an artist and I think that is a flawed way of thinking. <laughs> that is a wrong way of thinking. You know, there were so many comments that I just could not <laughs> believe uh, what I was seeing. And here are some of the comments that really uh, stood out for me, where someone said, when the F did Will become entrepreneur? <laughs> I mean, this particular comment got me thinking, are artists not entrepreneurs? Uh, what is entrepreneurship, you know, to some people? As you can clearly see, he had this interview with Yahoo, and this is just a clip of it that um, is shared online. And he's clearly introduced as an entrepreneur. An artist is an entrepreneur. So how can someone ask if he, when did he become an entrepreneur? I mean, that's, that, <laughs> that is funny indeed. Here's another comment. What do we we'll know about AI? And he put a laughing emoji. <laughs> uh, and someone says, here's another expert artist. Basically trying to say that he shouldn't have any opinion on, on, on artificial intelligence because he is an artist. Uh, this is one of the best, uh, the best comments for me where someone said, Spitting truth here, no money for human intelligence because it's not easy to monetize. And that is true. This is one of the good comments as well. In other words, you should invest in your own intelligence. Truth be told. Yes, it's time to invest in your own intelligence. <laughs> Instead of waiting for other people to invest in you. That is such a brilliant, profound comment. I love it. Someone said, true, but smart people, critical thinkers aren't good for capitalism. They will try to make change, are harder to market to, and are more difficult to manipulate into consuming. 
That's a good comment as well. Someone said he's absolutely right. They have invested heavily in machines than organic human beings. That's how much people care about each other. Another person said he is right on target. Invest in machines to make them smarter, but won't make the same level of investment in educating and training you know, our people. <laughs> it seems like we are working hard towards our own extinction. We want to make ourselves matter less. Another one said, robots don't complain and there is no limit for their productivity because they are programmed to not be lazy. Look at us, <laughs> lazy slums of nothingness. Human intelligence should be the mission. Human intelligence should be the goal. AI is coming for all of us. And so each and every one of us should have a say in it. Each and every one of us should strive to shape it in some way, you know, based on what type of content we put out there into the world. I believe we all have a right, you know, to this. We all have an, op we should all have an opinion on this and not try to undermine someone simply because they are not in the tech field. You feel like what they have to say is not valuable because they are not in the tech field. It doesn't work that way. I strongly believe that the era where only tech experts were allowed to have an opinion about technology is over. That era where technology was a topic for the elite class is over. Um, 2023, last year, it became a year where the opera moment of AI arrived. I, I put it this way. It was like, you got AI, you got AI. Everybody got AI. So AI has been given to everyone. Everyone has access to AI. Why shouldn't someone like Will I Am have an opinion about AI when AI has been distributed down to everyone? A we now have access to AI. Even those of us right at the bottom have access to AI. It is no longer something that is exclusive only to the elite class, like I've mentioned. So each and every person should have a say about AI. In fact, I feel like not enough people have a say about AI. Not enough people are in the rooms that are making these AI decisions that are affecting all of us. I believe that not enough people are actually talking about the impact that AI is going to have in the world, starting now and in the, in, and in the future. Each and every one of us should strive to have a voice when it comes to artificial intelligence. Instead of saying, what does this person know about AI? When did this person become an AI expert? When did this person become a tech expert? That is the wrong way of looking at things. That's the wrong way of, you know, interpreting the situation. Again, we are all impacted by this. We are all affected by this. The least you can do is lend your voice. Hopefully, some of the people making AI decisions, they can hear your voice and adjust. They can take your opinion into consideration. But do not downplay yourself. Do not sit on your opinion and hide yourself because you feel you don't qualify. And do not disqualify people who are having a voice on AI simply because you think they are not tech enough or they are not in the tech field or they are not technology experts. The so-called non-tech experts or non-AI experts can see things that those on the inside cannot see and that is why their voice matters. Those on the inside are too focused on the profit, they are too focused on winning to the point where they are blinded by the real impact of artificial intelligence. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Do you agree with Will I Am? Do you think he has a point? Or do you think he doesn't have a point simply because he is not an AI expert or he is not in the technology field? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you.